Okay, so just talking about that, the ability to pedal the car, and for those who aren't familiar, what we're talking about there is if the car gets a little bit loose going down the track, and we're not racing necessarily for PBs here or world records, uh, you have built a car that you genuinely can go rounds and beat people, and that's what the, the whole idea is. And if the uh, world record comes, then that's just an added bonus. But if you have to get off the throttle because the car gets a little out of shape or out of the groove, and then getting back on the throttle with that single GDX 55, what you're talking about there is basically when you get off it, you lose all of your boost and when you get back on the throttle it's very lethargic to come back on. Is it possible to give us just a rough idea of the time difference to get back to full boost with a single versus the compound, just just approximately? Oh yeah, a bit of a hard one. We ran a, a, a system, um, you can run like a, a wastegate style system that you can program via Mac valves and, and work at what that's doing to control. We also run an electronic sort of fly-by-wire system basically to control that. And we had a similar setup with a single, um, but it, it had to be fast and you just couldn't get it that fast to at a certain area. These, uh, you know, these engines compared to say a, a Torquay V8 or something like that with uh, fairly good foot pounds behind what these things are making, the window is very small. It's like a power band on a motocross or a two-stroke bike. Your power band is, is a certain window and the window on these things is probably about 9,000 to 11.8. That's a power band. And you fall under that and you, you're struggling to get it up. Whereas now, to give you an example, the single turbo, to put it very simple to people, if we fell under that 9,000, 8,000 mark, we would struggle to get it back in a, in a quick time with the single. Now I can fall to 6,000 RPM and I can be at 50 pounds and I can go straight to 112 and it's there. So you've got a car that's just easier to race and more flexible with a wider window where it's actually happy to operate? 100%. It's, um, sometimes it's that uh, responsive and reactive that will just go into a power wheel stand at half track and, and you're on the bars and you're going towards a wall, you know. So that really shows you how fast it does work. Maybe too responsive? But yeah, too responsive. If you like that video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you're not already a subscriber, make sure you're subscribed. We release a new video every week. And if you like free stuff, we've got a great deal for you. Click the link in the description to claim your free spot to our next live lesson. You'll learn about performance engine building and EFI tuning, and you'll also have the chance to ask questions, which I'll be answering live. Remember, it's 100% free, so follow the link to claim your spot.